hey guys welcome back so now that you have been able to display a list of contacts so now let's go ahead and create the settings screen and also provide a way for the user to manage some of his or her preferences so we'll be implementing this screen so here we'll learn about how to design this the screen quest way to design something like this also we'll be implementing a way to like manage the sort order using this model so that the user can come in here and set their preferences. Point note, when you're implementing something like this, you really want it to be persistent such that when a user restarts the app, things don't change. So we're gonna be using a sync storage for that to make sure that all our changes are synced on the device until the user maybe clears the app data or uninstalls the app and reinstalls it. So to get started, I'm going to go here in our screens. We already have the settings screen. Now in here, we will, you already know what we need to do. <coughs> we need to be returning the JSX component so here I'm going to be returning settings component. So I'm gonna go to the components. Then I'm just gonna say new settings component index.js. So here we can have a simple RN function component. So I'm, come, I'm gonna come over here and restart our app. So yarn start. Also, I'm going to yarn it on, to start it on iOS because iOS is cooler. Then I'm going to take my device off screen uh let ios come through okay so here we need to make sure the import is working so let's import it like that now for the options let me bring it up again okay so we need a way to keep track of this because this is a list here so i need to keep track of what items are in here so i'm gonna go inside the screen and i'm gonna I'm going to create a constant for the settings options. So I'm going to say settings options. So this is now going to be an array actually. So it's going to be an array. So this array is going to contain these items. Now I'm going to consider each of these to need to have a title, a subtitle, and also the own press. What happens when a user clicks it? So now that we have this, we need to show them in JSX. So I'm gonna send them to our UI component. So we can say settings options equals settings options. Now, when we come over here, we can pick them from props. If we go here and go to our settings component, it is still working, but there's nothing. So in here, we are going to be using the container component. That's because it has our score view. Let's import it. So here, I'm going to use this syntax to map through the settings. So here you can do settings options dot map. So when you map, we can get all our properties for each of those items. So we're going to restructure them here. Then we'll be returning a touchable opacity because we want it to be clickable. Each of those items to be clickable. So touchable opacity like that. So now let's get the properties for each item. So we have the title, we have the subtitle, we have the on press. Okay. We ca if we wanted to use the index, we could put a comma here and also use the index. So now that we have these, we can set the, the key here to be, let's say the title, because we are sure these titles are always gonna be there and they're always gonna be unique. So in here, now we can have a view that will be showing each item. Okay, so here we can have view. So for this view, we will now have a text show the title. So this text is gonna show the title. So we can just say title here and save. So when I save, you notice know, that all our titles come here. So now we need to put our subtitles too. Remember, remember most sometimes we won't have the subtitle. So we're gonna check if we have the subtitle, then we will be showing it. So we also can have a text and then show the subtitle. Subtitle like that, save it. So when we do that, you notice that uh, the subtitles are also coming. So now that we have this, we need to have a line between each of these items. So I'm gonna go outside this view right here, and then I'm going to have some view, a mock view. So this view is just gonna have a style to properly give it the basically the style to for a line so we're just gonna give it a height of 0 
and then I'm gonna give it the background color so background color this is gonna be our gray so let's import it from colors make sure it's being imported you notice that we have these underlines in there so first off you notice that these underlines are not stretching over that's because our container is not allowing us to do that so for now I'm just gonna use a scroll view here because Basically, that's what we, it was doing for us and we can quickly have our own scroll view. So now that we use a scroll view, you see that they stretch over. So what I want to do now is I want to go to each of these items, style them. So here where we have this view, I'm just going to have another style. So style will be an object. So here, let's first give them some padding on the left and right. So padding, horizontal. Let's just do like 20, save it. So when you save it, you see they go like in the middle. Let's give it some padding bottom like each of those some padding bottom so let's do padding bottom so here we can have like 22 20 so now that makes things look a little bit better but you notice that the first one doesn't really have a padding on top like on top even these have no paddings on top so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come here and do padding top so when we do padding top let's also give it 20 so when you give it 20, you will see that things look a little bit better. Okay. So now that things are looking better, let's go ahead and style the... Let's go ahead and style these texts better so they look a little bit better. So I'm going to go to our text for the title and give it a style. So this style, let's increase the font to 17. So font size 17. That makes it bigger. So for the subtitle, I'm gonna come here and also have some style. So style, it's gonna be an object. Then let's make the font size smaller. Let's do 14. And I guess that's the one it, it has by default. Then let's change the color. So color, so let's set color to, color to colors gray. Then, Let's also give it some padding on top so it looks a little bit better. So padding top of five. So save it and it looks better. Now I want the whole screen to be white. So I'm gonna come here and have a style on this curve view. So you can have style. Then you can have like background color. So let's use colors dot white. Save it. And now it looks white. Okay, so this looks good to me. The settings are not really very clear. That's because we are using a gray color. But what you could do now is actually use an opacity instead of a gray. So here we can just say opacity. Let's use like 0 0.6. Save it. And this now look a little bit better, I believe. Okay, so now that we have already... So now we have gone ahead to create our settings screen. So in the next video, I'm gonna come in, we implement saving the preferences. So when a user clicks, let's say on first name first, we can save it. Also go ahead and make sure that that change is reflected on this list. So thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.